it's, uh, it's a great pleasure to be here, me and my dad and, and my team. I think, uh, you know, you said it hit the nail on the head, you know, coming here and a first time owner, you know, being in part of these big races is what it's all about. Um, you know, my first race at Scotchville when it came fifth, I was still very proud, you know, and I just, when it won its maiden uh, a few weeks back, I was just over the moon, you know, I was trying to uh, calm down a bit, you know, everyone's like, whoa, what's this guy doing, you know, it's such a small race, I'm like, you know what, I'm just, you can't describe it, you know, I think Gary, I've actually watched that one, what Gary Player said, and you know, obviously he's won many titles, but I can relate to the feeling that he has to this. I suppose when you go out to the pool and you stand there, you're on your own, you're in your own zone, you've prepared yourself for this, you're physically prepared, but when the racehorse leaves the parade ring, he's all on his own, you almost feel, you know, like you'd like to be there to hold his hand. Absolutely, you know, I always come out there and I like to give my last few words before. Uh, you know, tell the jockey, listen, keep it calm, keep it calm, make sure you bring it home down the stretch. Um, and I get excited, you know, it's getting close to, to kick off now or, you know, run off, whatever. And I'm excited, you know, just to be here and be a part of this day. It's really, really, uh, like I say, honored to be here and thanks for having us. You know, they say that the racehorse is the physical embodiment of that which we have failed to achieve in life. Many of us have failed <laughs> to come close to what you've done, but does it still ring a tone in your voice? My dad has been telling me for many years, you know, this is what we want to do. And I've always said, oh, dad, you know, because he's been involved in the game for a long time. And, you know, when I, you know, when I first got on Blue Ball Chad in, in February, you know, and I was there at the, the stables, you know, with Paul Lafferty, uh, a great friend of ours, you know, watching a train. I just, I felt something different, you know what I mean? It's not, the, it's not the same kind of feeling as going to watch as a spectator, you know, to know that, you know, he's mine and he's, he's my little baby, you know, I feel like I'm his, I wouldn't say it's his father, you know, Paul's the trainer, he's the father, you know, I'm the, I'm the close uncle, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm very proud and I think this is such a, a great opportunity for me to, to have fun with my mates and just to be here, you know. Well, we love your hero status, even though you're such a humble and gentle man. We love the enthusiasm that Bert Leclerc brings along with him. But boy, oh boy, we would love this to happen for Paul Lafferty. It couldn't happen to a nicer man. The racing industry is really behind him in this tough time. And I think all this beautiful thing around him has really lifted him. Absolutely. Paul is, uh, is an extremely positive man. You know, every time I've gone to see him, he's, he's said that he's, uh, he's always, you know, even plays it down. He says, no, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. And when, you know, it must be difficult. You know, my mom had cancer and my dad also. So it's, it's, it's difficult. And, uh, you know, our prayers are with him. And, you know, we, we're a team, you know. So that's the main thing, you know, we're a family.